Earl says, what's your opinion on the portal for women's basketball? It's destroyed Maryland's program. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's also, I would also say it it has uh, kind of destroyed Oregon's program as well. Uh, lots of players have, have left the left uh, Oregon as well. Um, I mean, the transfer portal, love it or hate it, is here to stay. I, I think it's going to take a little bit more time for us to really, really figure out what this means for the future of women's basketball. Um, because we're still, believe it or not, we're still in the infancy period of, uh, this sort of transfer portal madness. We really are. Um, and we're, and we're now starting to see, um, what the transfer portal plus what NIL does. And when you combine them together and how like it creates this like beast of a thing. Um, I, I'm, I feel like I'm neutral about it. Uh, it's not a love or hate about the transfer portal. It's about how coaches need to develop a little bit more for the, for the new, the newer, the newer player that's out there. Uh, so, so, so the days of players suffering through it and riding the bench for a couple of years until they, until they earn their keep, those years, those years are gone. That that's done. That's done. Coaches can't do that anymore. Um, you, you, you're not going to be able to do that with some of the top talent, which is why you have players, um, like a, like a, um, a Lauren Betts who left Stanford to, to go to a team where she, she knows she's going to play and she's going to be a star. You know, um, she didn't want to ride the bench. She she didn't want to play second fiddle, um, and that's something that 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 coaches have to be okay with. You have to be okay with that, um, and you know, it just sort of is what it is. It 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 sort of it it sort of is what it is. Um, you know, um, there are there are a lot of um, there are a lot of very, very talented, talented X and O coaches who need to get on board with the, the way NIL works with the way, um, that players expect to play coming in or, or, or there, there has to be a, a, um, managing of personalities. I feel like a lot more now than ever before. And I think it's just an adjustment that coaches have to be ready for. And it's also an adjustment that programs have to be ready for in general, where, um, uh, where they, they need to cultivate relationships faster because immediately the, the player can just like jump in the portal and leave, you know? Um, and it's not about um, finding core pieces that you can build your program off of. No, it's about literally every year, you are you are building your program from scratch and you have to be okay with that and you have to be okay with con consistently reinventing yourself um and so yeah that those are my thoughts about it um i don't think it's a matter of whether you love or hate it it's 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 the way you manage it that i think um that i think um coaches really have to think about um because now it's the play, like it's the player that's in the driver's seat. It used to be that the programs are in the driver's seat, where a, a program could, um, you know, waste several years of a player's talent by not playing them, and 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 knowing that the player doesn't really have any um any alternatives. But now the player's in the driver's seat, so coaches, y'all better get. Hey, uh, you either you either embrace it or you go away. That's it. That's it.